Today on Blurning, we're going to show you how to do an effect that looks like this. Oh, hey guys. I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And you're watching... Learning with Bobby and Brent. All right, Brent, so what are we going to be doing today? We're going to be doing a little repeater effect, replication. We're talking about the future. Talking replication. about Cloning. replication. Here we go. Let's get into the video. All right, so... That was snappy. There you go. Woo. So today we're going to be Woo. showing you basically how to how to take a shape yep. and uh, repeat it a bunch of times. Yeah. So you don't have to create all these layers. You don't have to copy and paste a whole bunch of times. Yeah. We'll After Effects. That. After Effects can be tricky, hmm. and you don't want all these layers messing you up and confusing you. So no, sir. Let's dive into this video, and we'll show you how to do this. So the applications we're going to be using today are After Effects and Adobe Illustrator. And that shape that we're going to be using today is going to be a turtle. 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 So let's go into our Illustrator file. Okay. And we've gotten this image of a turtle off of the internet. Just this basic sea turtle here. Interwebs. Basic sea turtle. So, so basic. basic. <laughs> Jinx. So here's the sea turtle. Uh, we're going to drag this over here so we can see what's going on behind it. Okay. And let's just do an image trace. Sure. And then we're going to hit expand. And we're going to right click and ungroup our expansion. And then we can delete all the white par oh, parts wow. of the video. There you go. Of the picture. Sorry, it's not a video. It's just like not yet. Learning here. Uh -huh. All right. So we're going to select this now image path that we've created in Illustrator. Okay. And we're going to control C, copy paste it. Now let's go to our After Effects and we're gonna begin sort of the process of creating this repeater effect. Sure. So let's create a new composition, Brent. And we're gonna call this Turtle and our background color is going to just be just a nice uh, blue, okay? Nice like blue effect. Okay, I like blue. All right, so now we are going to create a new shape layer. So let's open up the shape layer. And under our contents, we can go to add. Okay, yeah, that, now we're talking. Now, we will add a path. So sure. let's select path, and that creates this little tab here where we can open it up, and we can select on our path. Now, remember a couple seconds ago where we copy and pasted that turtle? I or, sure do. Well, we copied the turtle. Now we're gonna paste the turtle. So we're gonna hit Control or Command V. Oh. And you can see that's actually uh, selected the path that we created in Illustrator. I see it. And we can now manipulate it here in after Effects, which is really helpful for a lot of uh, different uh, effects in the future that we're going to be going over. Cool. So for this specific one, all we're going to do here is we're going to add a fill. And let's change that fill to be a nice green color. Yeah, there we go. Nice seafoam green. So I like it. let's imagine that uh, we're building an effect where we need this turtle to be repeating itself in the background. Sure. It's through the, through the center. So we're gonna want the turtle to be across in a line here. Now, one way we could do it is by Control D, duplicating the layer and dragging it the whole thing over and Control D again, and we can continue doing that, but that's just gonna create a big clutter down here and we wanna do this in the most simple way possible. Cool. So we're going to go back to our add here and we're going to add a repeater. Okay, so now you'll notice this is like this five-headed turtle weird thing here. It's a monstrosity. This is a monster of a turtle. Look so away. We're gonna open up our contents and we're gonna go down to our repeater. We're gonna open that up and you can open up your transform repeater tools. Okay. So you can take the position and now uh -huh, there we go. move that and that will sort of create the space between the turtles. The space. How do we create more copies of this turtle? I want more turtles. Give so, me more turtles now. To create more copies, we're gonna go down to our repeater okay. and just go to copies. And there you go, you can create as many as you want. Two, okay. 100, you can create so many. So let's so shrink turtles. our turtles. And, and this is uh, where this effect can be really, really powerful. So we're going to just grab our copies and we're gonna make copies all the way across oh, here. Dang. Wow. Look at that. That's a lot of turtles. That's a lot of turtles. And you can do things where you can uh, change how many copies you have in the effect by changing the keyframes and it'll create the copies. Oh yeah, look at them. And they'll fade in. Nice. So if you're doing like a bar graph, for example, you can uh, you can have them fade in if you're, you're doing any kind of graphics of that sort. 
And uh, if we hit F9, we can do a nice little uh, turtle effect, ease mm. in, ease out. And uh, that's how you use the repeater tool. Now, this is a very simple way to use the repeater. Mm -hmm. You can do it uh, in a lot more com complex fashions for different uh, effects. So later in the future, we'll make more tutorials on how to use the repeater in different ways. Yes. But we just wanted to introduce you guys on how to do it in a very simple way where you don't have to be creating 5 billion layers. Awesome. And uh, we're using turtles. And we're using turtles, because who doesn't like turtles? I like turtles. I like turtles, too. Do you like turtles? I like turtles. I think we like turtles. And me and Brent may be plugging, may or may not be plugging uh, our own website into this video. Turtle shirts. Turtleshirts.org. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. Go save the turtles. We've got turtles on this video. We've got turtles in our hearts. Turtles in our smarts. Smarts. Farts. We got turtles <laughs> I, in our farts. I almost said that, but I was like, nah. Yeah, no, and I go. did it. I just and you went there for pulled me. Pulled the trigger. Yeah, you pulled the trigger. I cut right. the cheese. You pulled the finger. All right, guys, that's the that, that this video. We got yeah. plenty of uh, endpoint stuff, so we don't need to do anything else. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out our other videos. Yeah. We do a bunch of stuff on this channel. In depth, test the time news, time driving feature. I mean, what more could you want? What more could you want? And we do other stuff in between, too. So, I mean, god dang. <laughs> Damn. You did it. Yeah. You did it. You said damn. Oh, yeah, right. You yeah. can't say damn. Technically, we, the can't, we could say damn. But damn. We can't say god. I know. Right? Yeah, it's weird. The rules are weird. We're, this stuff's getting cut. Are we good to go? I'm, oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. I don't know why I was waiting for something. <laughs> I, I was, was too. Like, I'm like, ah, that's it. Ha cha 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 it's pretty simple what we're going to be doing today. I'm sorry, I get distracted. Nicest fruits? <laughs> what the? What is that, that even up? What is this? I don't even know why so I clicked on this. you got number of people, different types of fruits, and then <laughs> nicest fruit. What is the nicest fruit? According to this, blueberry. Blueberries are the nicest fruit. Okay, well, there you have it, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Blueberries are the nicest fruit. According to uh, you heard it here first. about 40 people say blueberries are the nah. nicest fruit. This is so, so let's, uh, let's get back to the video. Anyway. I forget what we were doing. <laughs> anyway, yeah, what's uh, this tutorial about? Can you guys remind us? What is it about? We'll wait for a comment. Friend, dude. Let's call we'll it. Wait. We're going to have a, a viewer call in. Yeah. So uh, please call us. The number is... Oh, we got a caller. Hello. Hello. Tis I. Is it the gremlin? Tis I, the gremlin. Oh, hi, gremlin. Let me, let me put you on speakerphone. Hey, Gremlin. Oh, hello, Brent. How are you today? We're doing all right. We're having a little trouble here, though. Yes, yes, I've noticed. That's why I called in. Can you help us out? Yes, see, you were making a video about how amazing Gremlins are. Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, that's right. Okay, cool. Forgot about that. Yeah, okay. So, the Gremlin's pretty cool. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll talk to you later, Gremlin. Oh, did we already hang up? Okay. I did. Oh, okay, yeah, whatever. I'm not a, I'm not, I don't say bye at the end of phone calls, I just <laughs> so, hang up. <laughs> sorry. Now that we've done that, we can change how many times this... <laughs> the steam is I'm running so out real fast. Bad. The my steam is, is running out so my fast. My brain right is now. just running out, okay. Um, um, <laughs>